66 people were on board the Egypt air flight when it disappeared from radar, among them an economics professor and father of two, a student from Chad on the way to visit family, two babies and one child. These are just some of the portraits emerging from relatives who are waiting anxiously for answers. Some families, some family members have left, mostly families of Egyptians who have family ties in Egypt, with the idea that maybe they would be able to find out more information over there. Today, a great difficulty in this tragedy is that they have absolutely no information, and I think it's urgent to inform these families directly. From Paris to Cairo airport, families encountered the same agonizing wait for news. Many were taken to a crisis center where they could expect updates, but many expressed anger over the authorities' response to the crisis. Everything I heard was on TV, but some information contradicts other information. Now I will rest a little bit and I will wait. I pray for all the victims. We want the truth. We need to know what happened to our sons. Airport authorities must tell us the truth and what really happened. Did it fall and crash into the sea or was it hijacked? What happened? The passengers came from Egypt, France, Britain, Belgium, Portugal, Algeria, Sudan, Chad, Iraq, Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. All with families fearing the worst.